Hey guys, it's day six of the boot camp, and the Gash is completely assembled in his component parts that will go before the primer and the airbrush. You see, I have my trusty popsicle sticks along with little blobs of wax that hold them onto the thing. My four year old saw this, and he has his own little popsicle stick now with wax on it. Got the great staff of cool staffiness sword and they totally not the Necronomicon <laughs> just look at the detail on these things <laughs> yep I don't think I would read that one it's like those gifs that you see where the uh, monster comes out towards the end of the loop But yeah, I uh, just have some cleaning up. I'm working on the seams here, trying to file them down so I have a nice smooth cloak. Uh, had I thought about it, I would have put on these spooky, scary ghoul spirit things later. So I could easily have gotten the seam off, gotten some putty into these, this crack here and this crack here. But overall, I'm happy with the build. I'm still going to, like I said, still going to do those seams. There's some seams here that are right here. But the way that the arm will fit, it will cover up that seam there. <clears throat> and I, it will not be as obvious as me trying to fix that seam. Because I, I'm, I'm horrible with putty and green stuff. Yeah, look at that. Yep, got all my organs in canoptic jars for later. Thanks, guys. I don't need any surgery. But this this is going to be fun because then all the flesh will be necrotic and dead, and all the colors vibrant and transcending into these spooky, scary spirits that swarm around him. But uh, again, it's day six, so I guess I have to come up with some encouraging words. Basically, um, for me, realizing that you're not going to make Hollywood quality videos the first year. Or in my case, the second year, haha, <laughs> or probably not the third or the fourth year. Uh, not until my kids start doing video editing classes in school and learn how to do that sort of crap. But um, uh, but yeah, just just work at getting the models done and do a little brief overview. You don't even have to do a rambling. Say, hey guys, I made some Space Marines and I colored them. They're really cool. All right, see you tomorrow, and that'll be perfect. But I guess I need to make my oath of the moment. And my oath is that not only shall Nagash be painted, but also the King of Bretonia. And I swear to use my airbrush on both of them, because I'm a little timid at using my airbrush for things that uh, take finesse and skill, and I think both of these models being larger will benefit from a little bit of airbrushing, especially the Griffin for the King and the robes, because I have, I have decided to go with white and turquoise for Nagash and necrotic grayish flesh for, you know, his flesh. But to make him look cool and colorful, but yet still dead on the inside. Kind of like a pop star. Anyway, I'll see you guys in May once this gets started. I'll post up some pictures, probably another video once I have this guy primed. I think I'm going to prime him with a white lacquer primer so that I can uh, make him bright and yet quite dead. Anyway, hope you guys have a good evening. Adios. Evidently, I didn't do the oath of the moment right, so I'm going to be adding this on to the, uh, well, splicing this on to the end of the thing. So I have a responsive reading, which I'm Methodist, so that works out really well. So my oath, do I, loyal YouTuber, accept your my role in the May painting challenge? Do I promise to lead my miniatures into the zone of war with paint brush in hand conduct them to glory no matter the ferocity or ingenuity of boredom complacency new video games or even new releases do you swear to crush the objectives you have laid out despite all that is thrown at you do you pledge to honor the may painting challenge on this paintbrush i swear anyway time to splice this on the end see ya